The news that the Central Coast was to be split with Greater Sydney in the public health orders was music to the ears of many Coasties. I think it's a, it's a fantastic celebration for Coasties to actually finally be out of that Sydney area now and a real bonus I think for lots of people across the coast to stop the Sydney holidaymakers actually coming up free for all and shopping in the shop. It's not just going to their houses, it's in our shops, it's in our communities. The new permit system came into play over the weekend and was designed to primarily limit people travelling from Sydney to their Central Coast holiday home. Um, one of the most concerning things that was, was brought to my attention was the fact that people were using their holiday homes or their second home on the coast for someone to come and visit whenever they wanted to as often as they liked to. So this permit obviously closes that loophole. It sends a very clear message with significant fines if people decide to try and uh, find a way around that health order. Central Coast residents are allowed to travel to the Big Smoke for work without a permit. However, it's a different set of rules for certain Sydney ciders. With regards to workers, obviously, if you're a Sydney cider who lives in one of the local government areas of concern, um, they will need a permit to have to come up to the Central Coast. In addition to that, after the 28th of August, they have to have a COVID test every seven days. So that's one of the high-risk LGAs. But there is a small loophole. Sydney residents from a non-area of concern do not need to register if they're travelling less than 50 kilometres outside of Greater Sydney for the following reasons. I think the challenge really is those Sydney workers that have got now, it's a, it's a free-for-all trip up the coast, but we do have lots of essential workers going down to Sydney. They're being really mindful. Let's be mindful, Coastie, that those Sydney workers are also coming up here. We need them in our workforce. They're part of our working community. Just be mindful that they're around and keep your masks on, keep your distance and stay at home wherever you possibly can. As an example of that, though, you could have a nurse or a doctor, for instance, that live at Hornsby, uh, and they don't need a permit to go to Gosford Hospital. Uh, it works both ways. We've got essential workers that leave the Central Coast, as you pointed out, every single day to go down to Sydney. So that avenue still remains open. Local businesses are being urged to employ inside the Central Coast bubble first. If you're an employee or employer, I should say, on the Central Coast, and you want someone to come up here, you, why wouldn't you look at using a Central Coast person first. I mean, if you put a Central Coast uh, trading into a job, you're minimising your risk of exposure and also your own work site. So I would say to anybody on the coast who runs a business, you know, think about using a Central Coast person first. But the 50 kilometre radius seems to be a little bit off on the Service New South Wales 50 kilometre zone tracker. Absolutely. The geography teacher in me, as soon as I saw that map, it was alarm bells because that's not a 50 kilometre radius around the edge of Greater Sydney. It does head up all the way up to Warner's Bay. So I was worried that that 50 k's would really hit the peninsula and Gosford and the rest of the coast wouldn't care too much. But it's actually something, according to the map provided by the government, it's basically the whole of the coast that people from Sydney are able to come and work safely inside of. It's going up towards Newcastle. Like it even includes in this outline Edgeworth, Warner's Bay. Now, I know that it's long more than 50 kilometres from Gosford to, say, Warner's Bay. Yep. But looking at this map, it can be quite... Um, deceptive that if you just want to know where you can go, oh, I can go all the way to Warner's Bay. Yep. So, so what I would look, thanks for that feedback. Obviously, we'll take it up with health and see if we can get that clarified. Uh, and again, I said one of the things I would say is, you know, we're trying to minimise travel. That really is the key to this. So, look, always happy to take feedback. If anyone wants to send that through to me personally, we'll have a look at it out.